Tonight's episode of Late Night Playset is brought to you by St. Clair Insurance. They say all that separates men and boys is the coverage for their toys. St. Clair Insurance has coverage for your toys. Coverage for your toys.com. No Push the button now. Man. All good. <laughs> I was jamming out to some Billy Joel anyway, man. It's all good. <laughs> I know. You, well, me too. That's uh, that's part of it. All right, I'm coming. You're right there. <clears throat> I'll do that first. Whee! <sighs> okay. Have a sip of this. Have a sip of this. <laughs> Get situated. What's happening, pal? All good here. Oh, what's, you are still uh, there. Phew. Oh, sorry. What's new in Jay's world? I need a microphone for you to hear me. What's happening, pal? <laughs> what's What's new in Jay's world? Um, it's been a hell of a day. I'm assuming we'll probably talk about it. I'm assuming probably we'll talk about it um, at length. Like we, I'm excited. Like we usually do. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back to our friends at home. We are going. Yeah, we're live. Good. Uh, welcome back to our friend at home. Tonight is Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. It's our Halloween show. I've got a Halloween-ish shirt on. I'll talk about, talk about that in a little bit as oh, well. Oh, dude, look. Repping the black cat. What's up? That, oh, we, nice. Uh, Very know, nice. Right? That's nice. We are Halloween aligned, shirt myself. aligned there you go. as usual. Yeah. Uh, it is Tuesday, so that means it's Tuesdays with Tori. And this guy here is Tori. What's Tori up? Tori Alonzo, what's happening, buddy? Where is your thing? Watch, man. Couldn't find it. Oh, there Still- you are. I'm still here, still alive. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> we made it another week, Jay. Still trucking along out there? <laughs> still trucking along, man. It's, it's been it's been a week, but not a bad one. Uh, a week. It's been how long has it been since I've seen you? It's been only it has been a week. I, it has I can't, been I'm a week. To, yeah. There we go. Yep, there we go. It has been a week. Okay. Sorry, there's a couple things I didn't think of, as usual. Too many buttons. <laughs> All good, man. <laughs> did I, what did I do with the... What did I do with the... Oh, that is it. <laughs> I'm telling you, buddy. <laughs> I'm a, I have another sip of my beer here. Yeah, All right. What's what's in that blue mug, It's Jay? lager. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> that was the nice thing in the old days. Well, one, I generally was drunk, but... <clears throat> Too, even if I wasn't, I definitely could blame it on that. Well, oh, I'm not feeling too well, or oh, I drank earlier, or <laughs> yeah. Those of us who know you know better now. You can't blame it on that anymore, man. We know you don't. Yeah, drink. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any intention to going back to it, but at the same time, it's kind of like every movie you see where it's the end of the world. We, I watched something recently. I remember the actor. And it was mm-hmm. on a, I just can't remember the movie. It might have been Poseidon, but, uh, uh, but whatever. At the end of the world, like every alcoholic goes back to drinking or whatever, because, like, yeah, why yeah, not? Course, you know, who cares? Yep. I wonder how much of that's going on in the real life. I wasn't an alcoholic, and I always was able to not drink if I wanted to. Um, yeah. But, but, but it doesn't change the, uh, the, the whatever, the, the behavior. Um, I wonder if that's a thing currently. I don't know. I mean, not to, not to like go too depressing or anything, but I, I read that like um, opioid. Um, overdoses are up like 70%, 100% in some places. Like, it's just not good. Like, no. you can't shut people in and, you know, leave them to their own devices and, and vices and, and think that, you know, <sighs> everything's going to be hunky dory. It just doesn't work that way. So <laughs> it's kind of sad. Um, You're kind of right. Bought, the math bought, just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought a 30 pack of beer over the summer and I think I still have half of it left. Like I just, I'm not a big drinker. I just, you know, I'll have one with a steak if I grill out occasionally, but like, that's right. weird. Like right. I used to drink a lot in my twenties, but I just Well, it's funny. You mentioned more. the opioid thing. I like, I wonder how much of that is self-medication because I think there, I think I, there's definitely a lot of self-medication going on these days um, yeah. to, to get through it, whatever. But what I was referring to specifically before was more of like the, it's, it's, it's the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, it, it's one. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not giving up on my 40 years of sobriety or whatever it was yeah, for this old yeah. guy in the movie. But uh, yeah. but it was like, well, the, it's uh, we're all dying. Who Why cares? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like 2000. Yeah. It was probably 2012. It was something like that. But it was the guy from uh, 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 Just Shoot Me, the old guy from Just Shoot, George Siegel. And he was like oh, on a okay. cruise ship as a musician or a dance guy or something like that. And, you know, like, are you sure about that? <laughs> like, I'm sure. Just give it to me. <laughs> Uh, that's um, funny. Yeah, no, uh, this week, um, already, it's been interesting because of, um, 
Do you mind if I do you mind if I take it for a second? Go for it, man. Take take the reins. Man. I don't have mu- I don't have much to talk about tonight. But the only thing that is uh, has been on my mind is on my mind a lot because it's occupied my day. Um, I don't know if you heard or saw any of my postings, um, but <laughs> Conan O'Brien, since he's been down, uh, oh because yeah, of COVID I have seen that today. He's he's yeah. moved from his studio on the Warner Brothers lot, and he's been doing it in a theater around the a very famous theater here in Los Angeles, very famous okay. comedy theater specifically called uh, Largo uh, at okay. the Coronet Theater. So anyway, so he has sort of taken over that space, and he's occupying that space now. Last night, mm-hmm. that theater had a break in. Oh, <laughs> it was, wasn't this guy. It wasn't me. It had nothing to do with it. But oh, uh, yeah. some of the equipment went missing. It was some modern day stuff. I think it was like laptops and, you know, a, a camera slate and something like that. But, uh, man, it brought back a lot of memories. And um, not only did uh, Mrs. Ryan work with Andy Richter for many, many years. Uh, I shouldn't say Mrs. Ryan in that case. It was Nicole Shabbat in those days. Uh, but she worked with Andy, represented him for many, many years. Um, she also booked, I don't know how many people on that show for years and years. So she knows a lot of people over there. Um, I still know a couple of people that are, believe it or not, still there from the New York days. Uh, wow. Anyway, the long and short of it is we are trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to get on Conan. <laughs> I saw that. You were like, hey, if you want to hear a good story. Well, that's me, me on social media, but like, no, behind the scenes, like the oh, actual, oh, like the actual legit. people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. So we're actually trying to do that. And, and I don't know, well, I'll have more information for you soon. Uh, That'd be this, killer. At, this morning at 930, it was like, I, we might be at the Largo at four o'clock. Who the hell knows? Um, wow. So who knows? So we'll see. But it's one of those, you know, Conan is un- it, it's sort of kind of related in that story in that I had worked there. It was that gave me the knowledge. You know what I mean? One thing sort yeah. of led to another. They yeah. were definitely both, uh, pe- uh, you know, uh, corresponding lily pads in my in my stepping yeah. stone oh, yeah. hopping of life. Definitely. I uh, randomly ran into Conan O'Brien once when I was on a Philadelphia overnight. I was like randomly eating at the restaurant at the hotel where we stay and he just happened to be walking by. I was like, Conan. <laughs> and he was like, Hey man, <laughs> like, oh, that's it was just funny. Really random. I don't know if he was there for like a comedy show or what, but I just happened to be there on a, on a layover and saw he's, him just he's, walking around yeah, downtown. He's, he's, he's a really, he's a cool guy. He's a, he's a weird guy. Like we're all weird, but, but, but yeah, once, yeah, you're, past, quirky, once you're over cool. the wall or like <laughs> on the property, um, yeah. uh, the weirdness really goes away and he's just a really, really nice guy. Um, from my experience anyway, from a long, long time ago, I assume it's still the same, Please. but, um, all of that. All right. So anyway, so the whole week was, we found out over the weekend that, uh, that Letterman was going to be on Kimmel this week, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, Wednesday. Oh, wow. Okay. So in my mind, I was like, oh, he's going to be in L.A. So then that got the whole thing. Well, that's mm-hmm. an excuse. Let's put this, you know, we've been talking. Yeah. Let's make this the time. Let's come on. We're ready. We're ready. Yeah, he's here. Um, Why not? That was my thinking as well. So whatever she has uh, been talking to the guy, it sounds like it. I don't know. I don't. I think I can say it. It sounds like it's going to be via satellite right now. So it means he won't be here in Los Angeles. Oh, gotcha. Uh, but but so he but won't be that, here. That person. things could change. Who knows? Especially if we if there were something else here. I don't think that we are nearly important for anyone to change their travel schedule over. Um, but if all of a sudden some people who have never heard this story before do, and they're interested, it could there could be enough things here to rearrange some things and maybe make something happen. So I, who the hell knows? Um, we, I we I whatever. I don't want to say anything about Kimmel because I don't. There's nothing trying to be happening there. Um, other than, I don't know if you've noticed, Jimmy Kimmel is back in the studio, uh, and I don't know if you've noticed, they did a set revamp. Have you seen it at all? No, I haven't. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of his. I don't know. I just, he no, kind I of rubs me the wrong way. No, yeah. that's okay. I don't know. Well, and it's weird because, like, he's so polar opposite of Corolla. Oh, yeah. Like how Adam that's, I think maybe is. why they were good together, right? But they're boys like they're yeah, I mean, they still have like Super Bowl parties and stuff and still like watch football together. But like, man, they could not be more polar opposite you know, in their beliefs. If we, you tried, uh, it's, it's we, weird. We talked about that just the other day. Um, oh, about did you? How, well, Nicole and I did because we were, mm-hmm. you know, we were trying to say, you know, as far as the Kimmel camp, if anybody there investigates, you know, we it's not like we're anybody anywhere, but we are a blip on the radar at the Corolla camp. Like they can vouch for us 
And yeah, that yeah. It, it does happen, you know, like where we've had our meetings, you know this personally, but like where we've had our meetings over at Corolla's place is yeah. literally where Kimmel and Baby Doll and everybody hang out for Sunday football. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> every single yeah. week. <laughs> yeah. All the time. Uh, yeah, so who knows? I mean, there's a lot of things here that um, I think – I think I think I personally wasn't ready for. I think I'm ready for now. I think uh, you know Nicole perhaps wasn't ready for in the past. I think she's probably ready for it now. I think universally speaking, I think there's a lot of things that this was as weird as it is now. This was way weirder in the beginning. I don't know if you remember. And nowadays, it's kind of like what we're doing isn't that weird now. And we've done it not long enough <laughs> that we've gotten pretty good at it finally. Yeah, I mean, pretty yeah. good at it. Not just for a podcast, but like. For a show. A show, yeah. You're yeah. definitely ahead of the curve for sure. I mean, you were doing it long before everyone started doing the virtual stuff. So. If we actually <laughs> had a – this has all been like one guy for free, not free, but <laughs> no – you know, very minimal sponsorship until recently. Uh, uh, if we had a small budget and a small crew, we could really deliver a, a big product. I know that I in agree. my heart. Completely um, agree. And I think, I think that, you know, I think that that may just be finally time. It may just be yeah. time. And and if that's the case, it it will have finally worked out that I was, in the weirdest way, kind of right. I don't want to say right, but like, I knew it would be all right to not have the numbers. Mm -hmm. It was never after the numbers, and I'm regretting that now in some ways. Now that I'm trying to go after the numbers even a little bit, and I'm like, oh, mm. right, <laughs> now it's been so doesn't make sense. <laughs> but all the while, you've been perfecting what you do, and I don't think you can put a price on that. I appreciate you saying that. That that is my logic, and figuring out who I am as a person. I think this whole process has helped me as a person, and for that alone, I am grateful. Yeah. Um, to to the loyal people who have watched this thing from the beginning or picked us up somewhere in the middle um, and stuck with us, I am superbly grateful to you. Um, we know it's been a, a long ride as far as the Letterman thing. Um, but at the same time, I really, I, I mean, I, I've always known it was going to happen, and I really feel like it's going to happen n n now. Like not right now, but like now in my heart, I really feel like it's going to happen. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I, I mean, know, you're it's usually right about it's a, stuff. It's a weird <laughs> hump because people are like, "Why the hell are you hung up on the Letterman of it all?" Right. I can't explain it because it doesn't make sense in the business of of it mm -hmm. or in the success of it. But in J. Ryan's heart, it's it's still a wrong that was never righted, even though I've, I've told yeah. the universe, oh, I did this crummy thing, you know, a long time ago. As an adult, um, I haven't had the chance to f face my fears, so to speak. Yeah. And I, and I, I think that that's, I I think that's that. something that's been in my way my whole life, probably. It's, yeah. We've talked about this a million times. We it's have the talked almanac. about it. That's, it's, the, it's the cruel irony <laughs> that... Like, you know, this one thing prevented you from doing the thing that you wanted to do. <laughs> it's do you want crazy. your intended future or do you want your prize? You can have either one. But yeah. not both, sir. Not, not, not both. Not both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> and I was a little kid and I was like, that prize is right there. That's money in the bank. I'll just take the prize. Yeah, <laughs> Door number one, please. Thanks, Monty. Yeah. <laughs> you can have Carol Merrill just wait in the back. We're fine. That's a weird, it's a weird lesson, but you learned it though. That's the important thing. So many people go through life and they never learn that lesson or they never, you know, yeah. get what they're supposed to get out of it. You did. You're trying to right your wrong and I think it'll happen. I really do. I have faith. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Also, I don't know if you noticed or if you, not like you uh, stalk our Instagram or whatever, but um, I did tag Dave's guy in that um, Mrs. Ryan show, whatever, and, and his was one of the comments, uh, incredibly uh, uh, positive uh, very nice really? remarks. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, I mean, we are, we are on the radar still and, and again, or however. So but that's, that's, that's been what our, my week has been mentally occupied with that. And today has really been occupied with the back and forth and, and the social media and, you know, I bet. Well, that's a big it. thing. That's a couple of very big, you know, yeah. Fingers crossed for sure. And it's, it is literally my, it, I'm telling you, man, it just, you know, we get to, I feel like this is a redo for me. We've talked about this before again. I'm sorry to make this the Jay Ryan show on Tuesdays with Tori. Forgive me, buddy. No, it's all <laughs> Look good, Look at what man. you're getting out of me. You're so good. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel, uh, I've always felt that this was a weird life redo. And somehow, 
and, and none of this was like, I didn't realize it as it was happening, but you know, when you look back and it's like, oh, okay, the pieces sort of aligned. All of this stuff sort of aligned exactly like it did when I was a kid and and everything happened. I was doing mm-hmm. a little, little show and I got into Porsches and 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 David Letterman and Conan were both in my – like it was just all these – you know what I'm talking about. My dad died. All the and pieces it, when, were there. When Letterman went off the air, it all sort of – the literally the same weird things that I hadn't thought about or or, <laughs> yeah. or done in 20 years – just kind of started dropping into our lap, literally, in yeah. some cases. <laughs> this incredible set here, <laughs> sitting at the actual stuff. So anyway, whatever. En- enough about that. I know our people are probably sick of it. Like, yeah, Dave here already. I know. We're working on it. Believe me, nobody needs it inside more than me. Um, but what I well, I to sincerely tell you, hope it happens. I really do. That, thanks, I'm, brother. I'm pulling for you, Jay. Yeah. It'll be no. It'll be great for all of us, no? Because then, then that's that is. It's like we'll have bought clicks, but we'll be, have done it from hard work. We'll have done that, and then you get somebody yeah. like a Letterman on. It gets picked up by all of like the shows and the magazines and, and the blurbs and the buzz feeds and all that garbage, the gizmodos, like all the stuff that, oh, Letterman did this podcast, blah, blah, blah. I finally haven't. You know, there's a whole behind the scenes. Uh, I tried to pull it up here. I just wanted to show you this really quick, and it doesn't matter because it's really stupid. Oh, that will. You guys like my inner dialogue? Do you mind it, Tori? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do it all the time. I literally talk to myself when I'm working on my car, so <laughs> it's, it's all good. While I pull this up, t- tell me about that for one second, because we had a discussion recently, and it was sort of nuts to me that some people don't have an inner dialogue. It was pointed out to me that some people don't have an inner dialogue, and I thought that was odd. And really? I've oh, I about, do. I've been thinking about it ever since, yeah. So tell me I about yours. Inner, I have an inner and an outer dialogue. Dude, I do... I'm I'm weird. Like I will mentally do something on my car like three or four times before I actually do it for real, like in real life. So it just seems like it flows better when I'm doing it in real time. Dude, but that's like, me too. And and yeah, I've been that I, way my I whole life. Over stuff. Like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do this first and then I'll grab this and then I'll, yeah. I mean, I, I completely dissect the whole procedure in my mind first and then I attack it in real life. Weird. I can't tell you how many times this came up when we were doing the movie car stuff, when, specifically when we were building the DeLorean. Mm-hmm. I would either be on my computer or the iPad or or just looking at pictures or literally in my brain probably staring at the wall looking like <laughs> Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, but And the guy would be like, oh, well, why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? It's like, are you crazy? Like, I am, dude. You guys are doing what I tell you to do. Yeah. Like, this is all up here. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. I do the I same exact go- thing, Jay. Okay, but I've been that way my whole life, and it was explained to me by not the same person, a different person also. Everyone's smarter than me. They're all explaining things to me. That it's a version of astral projection. We're actually – I don't know I don't know if you even believe in that astral projection thing where you supposedly leave your body or whatever. This is like a really minimal version of that where you're able to be elsewhere, even though you're sitting here at the desk or whatever. Really? You're able That's to mentally be underneath your car turning a wrench or getting a 16 millimeter or whatever – where I'm like, can't everybody do that? Wow. And apparently not everyone can. I didn't know that. I figured that was just like, I mean, that's just what you do. Like everybody thinks about something before they do it. That's just how I've always Me operated. Too. Like in Weird. math class in school, I was thinking about how to build my set after school or whatever for <laughs> yeah, my little exactly. TV show or whatever the project was, right? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. reorganize my room or my posters <laughs> yeah. or whatever. It's all in my, I'm doing that during the day yeah. or in my head. Yeah. While Mrs. Jankowski is telling me about science or whatever, and uh, and and no wonder I can't hear about science. But when I went home, Bing Bang Boom, by the time my parents are home, like it's all presto. It's change all them. done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You've already got it done because you've already done it in your mind a couple times, like the the run through. You know, like so it makes the final time super easy because you've already been there. <laughs> it's weird. It's a hundred percent. So yeah. is it this? Is it the same thing as like you see in the movies? And I mean, I, I say that because I'm not married to a businessman. But in the in the movies, you see businessmen like in the mirror, like going through their thing first. And I've definitely, like I've I've been an actor before, so like I've definitely gone through lines or whatever ahead of mm-hmm. time, so that it is kind of the same thing in the real. Is that is that the same thing for other people? We just do it Maybe in our it heads. It could be very well could be. I don't know. Because going through the motions ahead of time is, I mean, that's really more of a success thing, right? Like that's a that's a thing like 
I would think so. I mean, I think, I mean, especially for people that like, you know, are public speakers or whatever. I mean, they kind of, they practice and they, you know, they, they, especially actors, I feel like they probably obsess over like, I'm gonna, I'm going to specifically, you know, put emphasis on this line this time and see how this looks in the mirror, you know, to see Everything's if that gets choice. my point across. Yeah, exactly. And then they start dissecting little pieces. Well, I do the same thing except for, you know, what's the best way to, you know, do to lower the rear end of this car. That's what I'm working on right now. I've got the rear suspension all ripped apart on the car. Nice. So last night I was, you know, lying in bed and I was like, all right, let's see, how do I want to attack this? I'll, you know, I'll take the, I'll take the brakes apart first and then I'll, you know, it, I just do it in my head before I do it for real. And it just yeah. makes it easier. I don't know. And, and, and you've always been that way. Always. Ever since yeah, I was a kid. Here. Yep, Same here. always. Didn't matter what it was. Um, I don't know if you remember Jimmy Kimmel is coming back to this. I don't know if you remember Jimmy Kimmel's old set, but here's the new one. And they're back in the studio. This isn't temporary. This is the new set. Now he's at the El Capitan, right? Correct. Okay. That's how's the that, new one? Shut how's up. How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> feel? Feel familiar? <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, obviously, it's not even remotely, but uh, but the 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 nods and the placement and the lighting and the the old wooden. De- I mean, there's just a lot that is there. That's wild. So it so, makes me okay, feel like I, the timing on all this is just it. Now I've been to the El Capitan Theater. I've seen movies there. Mm-hmm. Where where is that at? Like, this is not is the in the actual El Capitan at? Theater itself. This is in the, it's uh, just in the uh, El Capitan uh, Theater building. I think I don't know what you would call it. It's in the it's in the production facility but it's a it's like so a is it like on a different floor or in a basement or i don't actually know you know i've never actually I've, i was over there when he first started his talk show like mm-hmm. way back when when there was a bar in the green room and all that stuff and, mm-hmm. the, and the set looked like vegas and everything uh-huh. um and it, i think it may be different now i'm not sure he's in the same space but at that time it was literally right off the street like off of sunset boulevard mm-hmm. is there a hollywood boulevard is no it's hollywood on? yeah hollywood yeah. Highland, so literally right off of Hollywood Boulevard, and um, you would go up those stairs, and like mm-hmm. there's glass doors, and then like a vestibule, and then on the other side of the next glass doors, you were like in the audience of his place. Wow. Um, so crazy. whatever you know what I mean. It's not it's not the big giant El Capitan Theater where they do the mo- they don't <laughs> they don't move out Jimmy Kimmel to do the premieres. It's a different uh, right right room. Yeah, so I figured there were probably different like parts of that building or whatever i've just never seen the part where he's at i've only ever been to like where the movies are where they do the premieres yeah and i could be wrong about all this stuff again that would have been i mean i was uh it was a long time ago <laughs> over 15 years ago <laughs> yeah i can't believe wow. how long everything is now we're so old <laughs> dude can we talk about that terrible kanye <laughs> Did you watch Kanye on Joe Rogan? I think you did. You, well, you said you I'm not. Out. I mean, I'm Honestly. I'm watching it. I, I, I'm still? having a hard time. I'm having a hard time. Yeah. All right. So here, I gave up. all right. Here it is. It's 20 minutes in. I'm going to tell you what we're going to talk about tonight. I, everything I have to do is is either show related. All of that head of stuff is out now. We can talk. We're done with Conan and Letterman and Kimmel. Uh, but I want to talk about the other rest. Is all viewing stuff. I don't have any car stuff. So um, okay. So please, yes, please tell me anything you want to about Kanye on Joe Rogan. And then I, I have something I could, to share too. I just couldn't follow it. Like I I saw that you were like watching it and I was like, oh, this might be good. And I've been trying to like support Joe's, you know, shows lately. And, you know, now he's got the new the new studio and I do love the new studio. The studio is pretty cool. It's grown on me a lot. At first I, I was like, was it is it like a nuclear bunker? Like what is it? Like it's grown on me. I don't know why, but I'm kind of digging it. Um, but I, I agree. Kanye lost I, th- me. I think Jamie is figuring out how to shoot it. The, I don't believe there's ever been any problem with the room. I think the room is fine. I think they needed to figure out how to light it and how to shoot it. Yeah. And I think yeah. that is one of those things that is uh, a process. Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, this is Colin Quinn sitting there with him, and this was when I thought it was looking a little better. If anything, it's a little late night place in there with all the blue. Looks starting to look a little smoking tire. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Who's copying who? Um, but yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean, and it doesn't bother me. Um, I do think it's interesting that everybody is kind of coming to this look that we sort of c- c- created yeah. here. 
Yeah, it's it's funny. It's hilarious. Um, it's it's interesting. I, guess I need though, more you, blue lights. Yeah, we'll come back to Kanye in one second. The studio <laughs> thing. Um, no, I just to try to somewhat stay on it. The studio thing uh, is interesting about the process of it all, and it's poignant right now because I just um, uh, the other day I bought some equipment for um, Smoking Tire Studio that. Which just it's one of those, oh, they've lived in it a little while. We're going to add some lights, you know, that kind of thing. Like yeah, change a couple definitely. things around. Finishing touches. Yeah. Yeah. Or Last just we've, we've lived it. Yeah, we've lived in it. Now we see like, all right, let's do some mods. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Here are, it already um, feels slow. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't like uh, – Zach is uh, – is, I don't like where uh, – physically, I like where Zach is, and it looks fine in the room. Uh, it just doesn't look good on camera. They changed where Zach's camera is and a few different things, so I want to add some – Whatever, just a little bit more life uh, to the room. And then there's a couple just color temperature areas where there's holes and it just, whatever, mm-hmm. things that bother me. Um, mm-hmm. And that's how this started. I emailed him. I was like, hey, I've been watching your show. <laughs> 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 if it were, I would, I would add a couple things like when you want to, you know. Um, yeah. So we're going to do that. And I would imagine it's the same thing with Jamie and Joe Rogan. It just growing yeah. pains. It's like you when yep. you build a car or anybody, right? You kind of, you build oh, yeah. it and then you yeah. live with Work it. Work out all the bugs. Bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yep. Uh, works, Kanye. But... Oh my god. Okay. Well, Dude. how did you know I was? How did you know I was watching it? I think uh, you had posted something on social media or something, and you were like, I, "I'm tapping out." And I, I did. Like, oh, I got to see what this is all about. So, I think I tapped out about the same time that you did. I think I made it to like the 30 minute mark, and then that's I was exactly like, oh, right. It was thir- no further than 32 minutes. Um, because he's all uh, over the place i i just i couldn't i couldn't keep up like my mind just didn't work the same way and and even poor joe was like trying to like <laughs> you know get some semblance of like order and like you know a structured conversation and i mean he's just chasing kanye all over the place it's like the hell's going on it was yeah bizarre. i um very in my if, if you had to illustrate it it would be the tasmanian devil playing tennis with himself running back yeah, and forth. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, that's a really good comparison. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I've I've since gone back, and I have I can do about 10 or so increments. So I've got, I'm over the hour mark, I believe, now. Um, okay. And I will finish it. I, I just – I do have a hard time following it in – it may not be as bad as a po- in a podcast or something, but because I'm one of those visual guys, like I'm watching this mm-hmm. on television, so I'm like, yeah, I watched it too. Am yeah, I, do I, I have time I for this shit or not? It. Like, what's happening? Am I interested? <laughs> yeah. Am I not? Yeah. I can't figure. Yeah, this was, is all over the weird. place. Yeah, but I he, and then like he's, like one of my favorite parts was he's he's talking about he he gets on Bruce Lee and and Brandon Lee at one point. I know. Like, here's well, the deal. I know what he was trying to say there. I know what he was trying to say there. Oh, but because Joe is such a smart man and he's not trying to screw Kanye, but he's like, I want to see what you're saying here. I want to make sure people understand what you're yeah, saying because yeah. t- the words that are coming out of your mouth are crazy. So I'm giving you an yeah. opportunity to, you know, illuminate other people what you mean. Bro. Yeah. And it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, and then Joe's just like, yeah, no, that's not what happened. What happened was, <laughs> and I was like, oh, now man. I know Kanye's going with the conspiracies and everything, but he's, he's Big not, time. he's not saying that first. He's, he's not, uh, uh, disclaiming it, yeah. you know, but you gotta right, tease so, that stuff a little bit, man, before you throw it out there like that. I mean, otherwise you've just lost your credibility with people. You know? But the honest answer for me is that I find a lot there that I relate to. I, f- I know how the ping pong brain works, but I'm fragmented in a very similar yeah. way. And I also think way faster than I speak. And when yeah. I, I have to, you know, Spike Ferriston is one of the kings of this. And I have to, st- I, I, I need to start listening to his damn podcast so that I can, I can pick up this trait he has. He speaks very slowly, not to the mm-hmm. point where like, get on with it spike no but so that one you can understand what the damn man is saying <laughs> it's a good he has a good Very cadence smart. for sure yeah. yeah it also slows down the pace of things so you can wrap your you can thought think the whole and, thing. yeah exactly formulate I your thoughts i am more in kanye nice where i'm like bibbidi bobbidi boo oh the it, i can't i'm ping-ponging from thought to thought i'm trying <laughs> to get it out to you but i know it, it doesn't all escape out of my brain to my yeah. mouth and yeah. certainly isn't all received by whoever joe or whomever i really i don't know i related to a lot of that and also i call it the tether he calls it god but yeah we but uh, we are almost always to, uh, like I, maybe i'm talking about god for those who are really religious i guess i am too 
I just don't celebrate it or or call it the same names that you. I don't celebrate it in the same way or call it the same names that you do. But when right. Kanye was talking about all of his, you know, God talked to me this, and I, I don't know, I think and I, I sit with God. I'm like, that's, that's what really I do. impressed I call it meditation. me. That was, and, yeah, well, I mean, you think you have like this idea of who Kanye is based on like the music that he was putting out. You know, I haven't listened to his stuff in a long time, but like, I mean, based on you know, he's flamboyant and like he's all about money and all that. And, and then come to find out, no, he's really not. Like, this is. You know, he's found God, and and he's you know he's all about the church now. And I, hey, I salute him. That's that's fantastic. I mean, yeah. dude, that can't be an easy lifestyle. It can't be. So I mean, I, I think uh, sooner or later, like you either crack, you know, or or you have this moment where you find a higher calling and something to be more excited about than Lamborghinis and money and hoes. You know, I mean, and it, it seems <laughs> like he hose. found that. Yeah, boats and hoes, man. Um, so, I mean, in the fact that he's trying to do good with, you know, with with his his reach, I, I love that about him. I think that's, I think it's fantastic. I was really impressed by all that. I just could have done without the, <laughs> but I mean, he's a creative guy. I mean, of course he's good. He's he just got those. He's got a, a weird brain, like like the Elon Musk's of the world. They just they're not yeah. um, they're not wired the same as the rest well, of us. Well, that's so a that, good good comparison. Yeah. I, oh, I, the whole time I'm watching this, all I could think was, oh my god, I would love to watch him and Elon in the same like on the same show together. Like that would be like my because he's talking about Nikolai Tesla and Edison and like all this crazy like. Who would have thought that Kanye would have geeked out on stuff like this, you know? But he's uh, he goes deep, son, deep, <laughs> yeah. all over the place. But uh, fascinating stuff. I just, I small doses. I needed small doses, and it sounds I, like that's how you're doing it. So, well, the issue is, I feel like, all right, the God's honest truth. It made me want to get high with Kanye because yes, I think that I we could have one hell of a conversation, and I don't yeah, mean like. I, Anybody, I mean, like Jay Ryan really, really wants to because I think I understand what he's trying to say, and he obviously behind. I mean, it's like any genius. The the the, the it's a fine line. I mean, yeah. they are a little mad. They have to <laughs> you be. Have you have to, have be. to be a, yeah. a little to bit think outside the yeah color from the regular the yes. everything exactly. in order to get the new stuff, and that yep. sort of a little bit is what I related to a little bit too. Not the genius, but like. I'm a little unhinged. I didn't have the regular programming that everybody else did because yeah. I sort of figured it out by myself with a really observant, really keen eye. Yeah. Um, so I don't look at the ones and zeros and the, the same checks and boxes that most people. You're kind of the same way too. Kanye was really that way. Oof. I mean, just a whole other level. But I mean, I think a lot of that too is like the shit he's gone through. You know, I mean, my God, he lost his mom. You know, mm -hmm. he probably had a crappy childhood probably didn't grow up in the most stable home you know made it was instantly you know wildly successful as a producer and rapper and you know he's married to kim kardashian like who knows what craziness goes with all that like i just i don't know i mean i i, I don't think you can have that kind of success and money and fame and and escape it without and be Needing fine. To, you, you won't be fine. I mean, yeah, I'm there's fine. no way. I mean, I'm yeah. Fine. I mean, <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, yeah. Hey, Ellen, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I like the direction he's at least going. You know, like he's he's trying to do good. He's trying to get other people inspired and excited about something. And you know. I, if you can it. get if you can get cool. people to believe in something bigger than themselves, I think exactly. you won. And I don't think it matters what that thing is. What it is. Yeah. It just even needs if to be something. even if Kanye is the next Jesus, in that there are enough people, enough disciples, you know, following him. He has enough followers. And if he's doing enough good, yeah. okay, let's rewrite the book. I don't care. Now it's Kanye. But Jesus is black, everybody. <laughs> You're right. You finally got it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Great. Right. I'm all for it. Yeah. Um, so I think anytime somebody, you know, you get them believing in something higher than themselves, I guess that's what religion's all about. And I'm not, I'm not pushing that because I'm not that guy. I don't, I don't go to church. I've been to a heck of a lot of church, 
and mm-hmm. and and uh, and you know what? Maybe and because a, a lot of different types too. Never just one message my whole life. Only this church never had that. Yeah. So maybe yeah, that's I, part I, of it too. I didn't. I didn't grow up going to church at all. Like I would go with like girlfriends to like midnight mass or you know Easter Sunday or something. They would ask me to go with them or whatever. But I, my parents were Catholic, but I they didn't raise me in the church at all. But unrelated to the church element of it, uh, moral of the instead of just having the single uh, single trough of food, you know, the all view, of the multiple yeah, sources. yeah, you had a you had a lot, yeah. Well, no, but you or anyone else. I mean, any whatever it is, I just equate it to that kind of like they say people who travel are are more seasoned human beings. If you tra- if you travel when you're young versus you know someone who's only that. ever been yeah, in that one makes town. Sense. Yeah, that, that, well, yeah, of course. Because I mean, you have the uh, the multiple perspectives. Yep, I'll tell you what. When I first started going to uh, Mexico City, you talk about an eye opener, man. Holy shit. I mean, I, I'll never forget. We were 10 minutes out in a taxi and I look over and there's like eight year old kids huffing spray paint on the street, you know, and I'm talking to the cab driver. I'm like, where's their parents? And they're (laughs) like, they're, they're just, they're just children of the street. They don't have parents. They're just orphans. They just run around the street and huff paint. That's what they do. It's like, shit. Like you don't realize how sheltered we are here in America. Like I'm sure stuff like that goes on, but you you're don't you're it. nailing it. Like a lot of people grow up in one town or one area anyway, yeah, one geographically yeah. area, and they think the world is like that. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like you have one set of news, one set of whatever, <laughs> one newspaper. You just wouldn't know. Right. So I'm assuming religion itself is anything. It's sort of like, oh, if you're only receiving one one Message. feed of information. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know why. I'll I tell you what, though. I, I, every time I came back from Mexico, I, I had a new appreciation for where we lived and, you know. I mean, no, no disservice to them. I mean, they, it's, it's just a different way of thinking. Like they, the way they live, they, they enjoy it. They like it. You know, they don't need, you know, well, they don't know dollars of credit card debt to be happy down there. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, it's just a different thing. Like, it, it, so who, who's the idiot? That's how, that's what I was always left with. You know, I mean, we would be out until two, three o'clock in the morning in the city square and there's people that probably don't have two nickels to rub together that are dancing in right. the city square and they're happy. That's a great point. And so, so who, so jokes on us, <laughs> you know, like I'm busting my ass flying all these trips to pay off, you know, cars and credit cards and you know, all this fancy shit I don't need. <laughs> so they're just tough and pain on the street. On no worries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're just, yeah. They got nowhere to be. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy um what have you been watching have you been watching anything have you gotten inside from the garage or do you want to let's talk about the car first let's talk about the car first what's new with the car yeah we we can talk about the car um there's not that much new to report i mean a little bit i mean it's it's all boring stuff i started putting new carpet in i kind of go back and forth like i'll i'll put in i'll put an order in for something and then i typically have to wait four or five days to get the car parts so then I'll have to move on to something else. So right now I've got the interior all ripped out, and I'm redoing. I'm doing. Oh the well, hang on. So last last time you mentioned you got your your wink mirror with the. With I did, the, yeah. And how cool is that with the louvers? There's the cover. Yeah, that's the thing I was telling you about. Yeah, Dude, that thing looks way cooler than I was expecting. I I, I thought well, the louvers would go the even, other way. Like everything about it didn't make sense. This looks awesome. Yeah, and it'll look even cooler when the running boards are on because the running boards match those perfectly. Oh, cool. I'm, Super stoked about that. So yeah, that got installed. Uh, I got the two. Oh well, I did like completely redo the front end. You can kind of see it there. Um, new front beam is in. Um, Congratulations! I, I mean, That's thank huge. You. Brand new everything. I mean, new shocks, new tie rods, new steering dampener, new. I mean, I did everything. I took the entire front axle apart. <laughs> I did everything. We built it. Everything. <laughs> I'm telling all you, of folks. It. It's all new. And I and I did it three times before I did it for real. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but Heck that's yeah. in um I'm waiting on some brake parts that should be here by the end of the week after that i can get the front end back down on the ground the drums and the new brakes and stuff put back on um right now i'm working on the rear end um i'm lowering the back and they have um they make these adjustable spring plates now it used to be you had to unbolt everything and then like twist the the spring plates and then put them back together and if you didn't, if that was too low, then you had to take everything apart and then adjust it another spline. And it's, you know, it's a 30, 45 minute process every time you have to take everything apart. Well, now they have these adjustable spring plates. So it's literally just, you know, an, an Allen screw that, that you can adjust the ride height, which will be fantastic. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Yeah. So, 
Uh, yeah, that's great. yeah. So I'm super stoked about that. <laughs> it's so, a whole um, different deal. Yeah, so that's what I'm putting on right now. Um, and oh, then God. hopefully, like, it'll be back on the ground. Um, and then I'll concentrate on the engine. Engine's the next thing, the next big thing to do. But yeah, but that's that's out already, right? I mean, you have yeah, it. engine's already to... out. It's yeah, the 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 engine block is at the machine shop. Um, and then we can start building it. So yeah, I'm excited. Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I really need to slow down and pace myself because it's not even November yet. <laughs> oh, your winter project. So much stuff. <laughs> the leaves yeah, aren't even yeah. fully off. <laughs> oh man, it's bad. Like you know, I got I got wheels and tires mounted today, and I'm like, God, I don't really even want to put these on this week because you know, then what do I have to look forward to? Like I'm just I'm totally going way too fast. But I get so excited about this stuff. So. I don't know, but the engine's going to take a while because, I mean, you have to mock it up. You have to figure out, you know, what's the compression ratio going to be. You've got to get shims. You've got to mock everything up and then take it all apart, then powder coat it. It's going to be a process. So uh, I'll knock all this other stuff out, but the engine's probably not going to be done until next year. And I'm not going to drive it until the spring anyway, so it's all good. It doesn't matter. It is. Yeah. It'll keep Uh, me busy. Let's see. Over here, meanwhile, on the YouTubes, uh, let's see. We've got uh, uh, George Car- Carnesis. Carnesis says hello. And then he says, uh, it's so bad. So something we were saying is so bad. Uh, Stan Kaplan says, love the shirt. Oh, Stan Kaplan. We love Stan Kaplan. Uh, he says, love the shirt. And I, he's probably talking about me, I'm guessing. So, hey, yeah, can I tell awesome. you about I the shirt it. real quick? Because yeah, I'm wearing me, it obviously me, for me. Halloween. But um, this shirt was a gift to me a long time ago. How long ago was it? 2008, I think. Whenever I was driving across country and I visited my friend Kat in Texas, Catherine DeLorean. And um, (laughs) Catherine DeLorean, uh, uh, she used to be a model and she's a beautiful girl. And she she likes her clothes big. And she used to wear that. This was her shirt. Like literally. How funny is that? Yeah, it's 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 a tent on me. It's absolutely huge because it was her study shirt. It was her snuggle shirt. Uh, oh, that's funny. This was a shirt that was very very important to her. And a long long time ago, I gave her a Jason mask because she's married to a gentleman named Jason. She's always been into Jason. She loves Friday the Thirteenth. She loves horror movies. We both have since we were kids. That's uh, we so both cool. Have loved this since we were kids. So I gave her a mask on this same visit, and she in return gave me her favorite shirt which I wear Aww. only on special occasions. I pull it out sweet. every once in a while, and it's generally a Halloween-related uh, uh, time of year or whatever. And I just wanted to say, uh, I love you, Kat. I love you so much. I uh, love the pictures you've been posting. Oh, it's it's hor- Halloween it's horror dogs. dog time. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Crisis uh, I don't know if you've checked out her Instagram lately, uh, uh, She Spawn, but she um, has been posting tons and tons of old photos from, like, when we were really hanging out uh, a bit. No way. Oh, how and, cool and is from, that? And from that time, you know, like uh, um, when she gave me the shirt and when I gave her the mask and stuff. So Wow. Good stuff. That's really good cool. Good stuff. But love to her and the whole family. Aww. Great family. I sound like great family. Great family. Very good people. <laughs> great folks. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that at all. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> so that's the shirt. <laughs> Well, that's cool, man. Uh, so, all right, what you watching? What you watching? Oh, I don't the only thing I've watched was Borat, and it was terrible. It was so bad. You watched Borat, and you thought it was terrible? Yeah, did you watch it? I did. It's one of the. It's the first thing on here. Borat. Shut up. You liked it? Loved it. I've seen it twice. Really? Can't wait to watch I it again. I love the first. I love the first one. The second one, I thought sucked. The girl was kind what of were you looking? F- what were you looking for from it? I don't know. Because you're entitled, I, I get like it. A, I don't know. I just felt like it was just a the entire thing was just political, and like the first one had some elements of that, but this was just like it might as well have been a commercial for Joe Biden. I feel like. Oh well, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I, Maybe was, that's why I like totally it so much. Like, I think it's maybe one of the most brilliant political moves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so impressive I mean, to I, me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just in like. Structure wise, it was just all over the place. Like, I mean, if oh, you're really? like paying attention to where everything is at, like, mm-hmm. dude, like he's in, he's in 
Galveston, and then all of a sudden he's in Washington State, but now he's back in New Orleans, and now he's, like, if you pay attention to the stuff in the background and, like, where these people are at, like, it was all over the place. Like, the editing was just a mess. Uh, I don't know. I didn't, I just... I think if, if you're, if, yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm trying, I'm, I'm literally trying to think of like one part that made me laugh, and I can't even think of. Oh, it. you I'm, didn't even find it funny. There were a couple parts, but I didn't. Nothing like the first one. Like the wow. first one, I was rolling. Like he made. I think, I think what I liked so much about the first one more so than this one, this one just seemed like low hanging fruit. Like it's really easy to go after conservatives and stuff nowadays. Like, oh, you I, know, I, I, I saw the complete opposite of that. I saw what, what I, what I saw from the, like, f- 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 let's go with the, the QAnon guys, the two guys that he goes and stays with. Uh huh. All right. So we're make we're not, we're, we're, what I found was he found a way, he, Sasha Baron Cohen found a way. Mm-hmm to humanize these guys who believe in something that a lot of people think is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And, and, and he painted them not as retardo, gun tote, and whatever. Like, yeah, they got guns and whatever, but they also welcomed this strange-ass foreigner into their home to stay with them right. during the fucking apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, totally. They, all, they yeah. also, all they wanted to do was help him with his daughter. Like, they really, yeah. if any of that was real, if all of that was real... Um, I, 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 like he really, I'm glad you read into it like that because that's what my hope would be. But I feel like everyone's just laughing at them. Like, like, oh, you might be right. You might be right. But it's usually then more at, uh, Borat, right? Hey, listen to me. (laughs) (laughs) I I mean, like what I love so much about the first one is he made people so uncomfortable. Like, I mean, well, you can do that when you don't, when no one knows who you are. But when everybody in the world knows Wait, who you, you are, and that was that was what knows. they were running into left and right. Like yeah, you, yeah. you need Everyone someone else to do it. D- this yeah. happened on this very not this very show, but the show that all of this started from. Um, Letterman and everything. Remember, he used to have the guy in the deli, Rupert, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd like, yeah, yeah. hey, Rupert, go outside, and, and he, Rupert had the, uh, the 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 glasses like these and a ball cap and and whatever and dave could like talk to him and tell him what to do they started that bit because um dave couldn't go out on the street anymore once he got to cbs the show was way too big like 20 million 30 million people were watching late night at night you know right right um uh so it so they sort of they restructured what they had to do and i felt like oh that's what borat this second one was i could be totally wrong but it was like oh the daughter's the star because nobody knows who she is so they can throw her in all these situations yeah. and have her da 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 to do the uh babysitter lady yeah uh, what a good human what a great human and, she and was the, way, awesome. the she, way they she, the way they portrayed all of that and showed it i just that was i really love sweet. that woman she should she should receive an award i agree but was that legit or was that like i mean that's that's what sucks is like so much. Well, I don't know, but like if you're going to pick it apart, it. you got to pick apart both sides. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. But like, I mean, I did. I mean, if, if, if she's legit and like, that's what she was really, you know, I thought that was really sweet that she was trying to talk her out of all the plastic surgery and, and all of that. I thought that was really sweet. But. And and then when telling you, hey, your heart hurts because you're giving away your baby. Hey, your heart should hurt. Of course it should. Yeah. You're giving away your baby. Yeah. Like, oh, no, that's not good. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't I'm know. I stop this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I had such high hopes for it. And it just, I just, and it's, I don't know. It's hard for me to put my finger on it but I just, i'm old enough that i don't go into a single thing in the world with high hopes anymore <laughs> yeah you're probably better off that way i don't know i just the, i remember i mean i i laughed so hard i was crying at places i, I don't disagree one. with you i don't God, disagree the, with it. the last so jackass funny. was not nearly as funny as the first jackass yeah like i mean like i don't know what it is like uh, you know what your analogy to jackass is a good one because i feel like the first couple jackass movies they they it was well thought out it was still funny but they weren't chugging horse jizz right okay right by and, the time and, 3d and came around by the it time was... 3d came around it's like oh i have to drink horse cum to, like to be funny <laughs> now and that's that's what i felt like happened with this because when she's like doing the period dance or whatever 
I was just like, this is. Oh even yeah, funny. okay, like, yeah. No, there were definitely moments. There were moments that were too far. Gross. I mean, I could have done like, without the producer's uh, genitalia in my face in the first one as well, and that, in the second yeah, one, as a matter yeah. of fact. Spoiler alert. Yeah, there's a lot of dicks. There's a lot of dicks in the second one. I, I don't know. I just, but the first one was so funny. I mean, there was this one scene that's still like just thinking about it makes me laugh. Which one? He, it's the one in the first one where they go to like the. They're teaching them how to. Um, have manners and like you know how how you use silverware and they're and he comes out with the bag oh no yeah there's that part too but then there's like you know all these people are sitting at this very fancy dinner he's like in my country they go crazy for this one this This one one, not not so much so much (laughs) it just the the looks on people's faces like they did the the same joke again they did the same joke in the in the uh temple this time with the with the jews with the jews Jews. just like like, look i and and by the way i love that moment how about that yeah. moment? Whether that woman was a, a, a rabbi or a parishioner, I don't know what they had. It's not parishioner. That's the other thing. But whatever. Whether she was a, right. a member, I don't yeah. know. But uh, she's like, I am, I am you. I am a nice, uh, I am a nice yeah. woman. Look I have a small nose. 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 A small nose. nose. A small nose. <laughs> yeah. And he no. goes like, and her, she has a small nose. He's like, uh, not as small as you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not so much. It, sort of the same moment. Yeah. yeah, it was kind of the same moment. I guess now you think about it, but. Um, yeah, I just so I did. I watched it alone, and then we watched it together. Yeah. So so perhaps maybe just me watching it alone. And you know what? When I had it on alone, I was doing other things as I do. You know, it's sort of like background. I was probably posting or working or whatever. So um, I don't know. I just I found I don't know. I thought it was I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it a lot. Like a lot. Did you? I can't I can't wait to see it again now. That especially now that I know <laughs> that there are some things again. to look at that you I'm didn't good. like. <laughs> I'm good. I probably won't watch it again. Maybe I'll watch the first one again. I have the first one on DVD. This one, not so much. <laughs> I think I'll let this one go. But no, that's what I watched. That was my big. That was my big moment. Um, watching Borat. All right, let's see, Mr. Robot. Get to Mr. Robot yet? I haven't. I haven't gotten to that yet. Um, I need to. We, uh, f- <sighs> bro. It's so how many good. seasons are there of that? There are four. But okay, and where are you we at? Feel, but we feel like we were get, feel like Christmas came early because the fourth season we got to episode t- there are ten episodes each season and we got okay. to ten last night and it didn't seem over and then we looked and there's thirteen in the final episode so we got oh, three more three I bonus <laughs> three bonus <laughs> we didn't episodes. realize and we didn't realize it, you know if you got the DVDs you know how many you got but like yeah, on the Netflix yeah, yeah. unless you go and look you don't know. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so we are almost done, almost done with it, bro. Very cool. It is so good. I can't wait for you to get into it because cool. I want to, I want to like, I want to do a fucking, excuse my language. I want to do a talking Mr. Robot podcast or something. It's, I just want to know what wow. you think. I want to know if it okay. bends your brain or if you think it's dumb or. I mean, is it like. Is it like Black Mirror? Have you seen Black Mirror? Is it? Yeah, like, and I don't put it like... up there with. No, I don't put it up there with any of that. This is something where oh, okay. it's it's very manageable. Some of the ideas okay. get kind of big, but it's very manageable. It's not like <laughs> it's, there's okay. nothing Dark Knight about this stuff. Remember okay. Dark Knight? It took yeah. what was a relatively small universe and it made it way too. F- oh my God! There's no. This is unrecoverable. What we're doing yeah. in this movie, you can't. They're gonna have to sink <laughs> Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, I know it. I know it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just yeah. too big. This yeah. doesn't do that. Um, okay. It's more along the the think. Uh, al- I would. Oh, this is very similar, actually. Put it in like the world of Fight Club. Okay. It's not Fight Club, but it does deal with a lot of the same kind of stuff. Like, you know, oh, the, let's wipe out the debt and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, okay, cool. Interesting. I told you how it's very appropriate now. It all takes right, place right. in 2015 because that's when the show started. Mm-hmm. And it all takes place over, you know, only not that long. So even in the last season, I think we're still in 2015. Oh, uh, okay. But so the last season is like shot in 2017 or something like that. Okay. And it's... Every, they nailed it all. They nailed everything that has happened, even ha, is happening currently. Wow. Okay. And it's not even like the, it's not even the A story. So it's not like they were trying to, hey, everybody, this is what's happening. It's almost kind of in the background. And they just sort of make comments about it like, oh, and this is, and then you look outside in real life and you're like, 
the, how'd they know? <laughs> Was yeah. this shot yesterday? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Highly recommend. Cool. And then the last show I want to talk about, because we had, uh, uh, Mrs. Ryan didn't have a great weekend, so we spent oh, a lot of time good. inside. Yeah, and just okay, a lot of viewing and stuff. Uh, that's the nature of this thing, by the way. Everybody who didn't see her this week, I saw a lot of sad faces who saw me alone. Uh, we got a couple good weeks, and then you get a couple shitty bad days. I mean, it it, it blows chunks, but it is what it is. So yeah. she's all right. She's okay. <laughs> she's working through it. Um, she can't walk. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Why was I saying all that? Uh, oh, the last thing. Final the last show. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Utopia. Oh, okay. Amazon Prime as well. Utopia. Okay, cool. All right. I don't. I don't even want to get into it unless you want to know anything. Is it new? Yeah, brand new. Came out last week. Oh, I, okay, I watched cool. it like the second day it came out. It just was coincidental. Is it a movie or a series? Series, ten episodes. Okay. Amazon For, Prime. Like one season. John Cusack's in it. Oh, I like John Cusack. And um. Well, Hot totally time blank. Somebody else is in it. Uh, uh, but it's good. It's good. Okay. It's okay. good. And the ideas are a little bigger, but it's good. I can't wait to okay. watch it again. I watched this one alone because she's doing a lot of resting. Can't wait to watch mm -hmm. this one again with her and maybe with you and maybe with our Sweet. friend at home. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll check but that I out. I highly too. recommend it. I talked to our guest on Thursday, uh, uh, the guy, uh, Don uh, McC McEnery, the guy who wrote A Bug's mm -hmm. Life and Seinfeld. <clears throat> and uh, and he was he was really excited about it. We talked about it again afterwards. Cool. I want to get everybody into it. Okay. Utopia. Utopia. <laughs> Amazon Prime. You got it. Oh, you'd think I got a piece of this thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not watching Borat again, so maybe I'll mm. give, give that a whirl instead. He did not like. Did this not movie is like. not good. This movie is good not. <laughs> this movie is very good not. Wow, I thought it was absolutely well. You know what? If you're, if you're only, if yeah, you, I could definitely. If your perspective is it's solely a political thing, then uh, and and it doesn't favor your political beliefs, then yeah, that's just I what definitely... it felt like to me. Like I don't know, like uh, it's probably just because I'm so effing tired of every time I turn on the TV, it's this or that, and it's like that's the whole reason I watch a movie or I watch. TV is to get away from all that shit. Like I like, can I just have one place where we're not talking about politics or bagging on this team or bagging on that team? Or, you know, I don't have to hear about the gun debate or whatever. And like, it seemed like that's all that was like, I, I will give you uh, I will definitely agree. And I will say it almost felt like Michael Moore was producing this one. Exactly. Yeah, totally. Or maybe this was Michael Moore's edit. Yeah, I of see everything that. they captured, because like um, the whole Rudy I, Giuliani thing, like not to get out back onto it or whatever, but like sure, you know Let's that was like it. the big story, like oh Rudy Giuliani like tried to screw a fifteen year old or whatever, and then you like well, see it and you're like okay, look, I already know that this the way this was edited, and look, I'm not saying I'm a big fan of Rudy Giuliani at all. I mean, like the guy, he's he's probably a I'm gonna wholeheartedly disagree with you on this one no matter what you're saying I don't care what you were expecting everything about that was inappropriate in my personal opinion no matter I'm not trying I don't think he ah it doesn't matter I thought everything about it even e just being there all of the touches all of the flirting stuff all of drinking with a 15 year old all of that I found very inappropriate and and I used to like Mr. Mayor but if you notice like she's She's 24. She's not 15. She's playing oh, a 15 she... year old. No, well, she's right, 24 but... year old. She's 24 years old in real life. And they oh, and they didn't tell Rudy her age. They didn't tell Rudy no, her age. No, they didn't say she was 15 until he busts in. He's like, "What oh, okay. are you doing? This is my daughter. She's okay, 15." Yeah. You know, but like when he's laying on his back and he has his hand down his pants, like they're trying to get the microphone out, like of his waistband or something. I think. Like, I mean, I don't know. I. I can see that going either way, my friend. Like, and but you know what how you things mean? go in the editing room. Hang like, on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> my opinion is that should you should, no, he didn't have any business being there. <laughs> he 
<laughs> you, you shouldn't be laying on the bed. It's not her job. The audio, this is, you don't know much about that side of things, but like nobody can do that to you. She can't take his microphone out. The union microphone guy, the guy who put it there, the audio guy is the only one who no, can. No, he was taking his own microphone out. She wasn't helping him. She didn't have her hand down his pants. He was taking it out. He just had his hand in his waistband and was trying to get the microphone out. And then they made it this big thing like, oh, he's jerking off in his pants to this 15-year-old. Like, I never oh, heard any of that. Like, I didn't hear anybody say oh, that. Oh, yeah, the stories. Dude, the stories this week have been just, like, terrible. But, that, but, but, like, but, you're put, but then you believe the stories or somebody believed the stories. Like, I, you know what I mean? I, I never no, heard I'm Sasha Baron that Cohen saying like, that. that. No, 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 no. But, but this is how this stuff gets perpetuated is my point. Like, I think that's a dangerous thing. You know, they're not they're not helping the narrative here. Like they're just I'm sure it was great press for the film, whatever. I'm sure a lot of people watched it just to see Rudy Giuliani banging a 15 year old or whatever it was that they claim happened. But it but that's I don't not how it but, went but, down. But it was, that's that you keep saying that no one made any claims. No one from the film made any claims. Some people saw the movie and perhaps made claims and maybe played the right, telephone that's game. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the, the problem. You can't control people. People are going to say yeah, what people are going to say. I guess. I mean, we've learned that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Many times. Yeah. I don't know. I just. If if someone in the movie, if Sasha Baron Cohen or a producer or some representative from the movie was saying something like, "And we caught Rudy Giuliani doing uh, very bad things with women," in th- and, and saying like very specific things, oh no, I didn't see any of that either. But what yeah. I did see is a former Mr. Mayor and a very, very, very high-profile attorney, probably the most high-profile attorney in the world currently, uh, putting himself in some surprisingly compromising positions. And some some, yeah. some some potentially some, some potentially actionable positions, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that to me is oh, if this it, the Borat's response, Sasha Baron Cohen's response was okay. No, Giuliani is not doing anything wrong. But what about if this is if this is if nothing is inappropriate about this, then what else has happened? Yeah. If this is fine, then wouldn't the other thing probably have happened? If this is fine. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know I don't either. Know. I don't it know just, either. It just it it again. It was just political. Like you know, it just seemed like it was political. Like I don't disagree know. at all. There. I mean, it. it yeah. It, I mean, it, I mean, yeah. why why Rudy Giuliani? I mean, because well, he's you know part of the Trump camp right now, and it's election season, and like the timing is just kind of uncanny with all this. You know, it's like, ge- generally those movies aren't. Um, you know, they're not really written ahead of time. The bits are all written. They shoot right. them, like it's probably they done have an exactly idea like of Jackass. What they want to do, but a lot of it's ad libbed. Well, they yeah. it, they just they do all of the bits, whatever. Say they write twenty bits and ten of them work, and they've got time for eight. You know, whatever it works, yeah, like, yeah, like Saturday Night Live. And then once they have the ones that that worked or that they pulled, you know, pulled it off, and you know, the, whatever they they fooled people, um, then they have to weave that into a story. Right. And it seems like oh, if we actually, you know, they probably tried to get a lot of people and i don't think they tried to get giuliani into you know i don't think the bit was all right let's totally try to get i i don't know how to describe this but i don't think he was set up solely to all right then you get him back there then let's try to get his pants off then i don't think it, i think that happened i think they set up rudy giuliani in this room and the whole thing and and that's what seemed to me i don't know obviously i have no idea as not being a production hard guy to on say. that show yeah, hard to but, say. Uh, but it does seem like you're right about if everything is edited together, oh, they used really Giuliani at the end because that's the biggest, most timely. Yeah, that was the big, that was the, that that's was the, the gist of the, yeah, exactly. That was what's going to get everyone to watch this. And I just, yeah. it was super anticlimactic because I, <laughs> I, I had, I had read all of these articles about this because the morning that that, you know, movie got released, I think it was on a Friday or something, Thursday night, they were already totally. talking about it. Like, it yeah. was already in the news and stuff. Like, oh, this whole Rudy Giuliani scene is insane and blah, blah, blah. And, like, I don't know. I just I watched it. I was like, that was it? Like, Oh, it was okay. so much worse. To, see, I guess it depends on what you're set up for. It was so much worse than I expected. I was like, yeah. gee, well, I, thought, you, I thought, oh, probably they probably made it convenient with editing and whatever. And then when I saw right. it, I was like, they definitely did make some cuts to help their agenda. But it all is there. It all happened. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't I think just... they fudged the tape. Right, right. I don't know. Crazy. I mean, it just, it seems like, 
it would have been more enjoyable to me if it just hadn't been about, you know, going to the Republican convention or whatever when he's doing the stuff to Michael Pence or, you know, or Giuliani. Or it's like, if you're going to do shit like that, then like be both sided about it, you know? Like, why not? Why didn't you try and prank Kamala Harris? You know, or Nancy Pelosi, like so you can well, but see the premise is that he's that. almost like, borderline upset. They're borderline obsessed with Mr. Trump, like the, you know, Premier for, for, Premier Trump is the biggest um, you know thing I in guess, the world. But like, like the, the he's the, he's the idolizing uh, Trump. It, the, Sasha Baron Cohen is for sure playing a joke on Trump, but Borat is almost in love with Trump. He's emphatic. He's like uh, sycophantic. I guess Mr. Trump. I I brought the whole you, thing. Uh, the whole thing just seemed like like you know. You know, talking about Melania and in I don't know. It was just like yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, you, you live in California, so I mean, like it's oh, it's this probably... is the audience out here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So out here, not not so much out here. Well, it's funny. You know, I live I in know. Los Angeles, so yeah. But like, remember we were talking about, and like we're going to talk about in a second for the the masks. Like the moment you go down the border, Orange County. Oh yeah, yeah. All bets are off. And yeah, quite frankly, you there. know how the system works. I mean, it's monetary based. So anybody up here with a lot do. of money just doesn't fly their Trump <laughs> flag, I'm guessing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but I'm yep. assuming their mail in ballot probably went to the White House. Yeah. We'll see. I don't yeah. know. I'm but you're right. Definitely more pepper here is definitely more blue than, than red. That's a red state for no, sure. Yeah. I mean, a blue state for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just ready for shit to go back to normal. <laughs> <sighs> Bro, do you it's, think that's going to happen? Let's let's wrap I, it up on I, something like, you know, real I, life here. I don't I honestly don't know. I don't know what to think, man. Like Philly's a mess right now, you know? I, I mean, know. Jesus. Like my it's aunts are, every week, are still dude. in Conchi and and it, I just they're not even anywhere close and I see this stuff and I think about them. Is that still all as we haven't heard as much stuff in the last couple of weeks out here. Is it still current there? As far as like all the Philly protests and the and the burning buildings and shit. Well, it's only this is only going to be night two, but I mean, there I mean, thirty cops got hurt last night. Supposedly. No, then I didn't even know about this. This is new. Oh I'm yeah, sorry. no, this just happened last night. No, like, I didn't yeah. even know. So, so I guess cops lay it on cops me. shot a guy that had he had a knife or something. I haven't read the whole story or whatever. They shot and killed a guy that had a knife. Well, don't have a knife. <laughs> yeah. Charge a cop. You're going to get shot. You know, and and I guess it's just really really bad the the riots there have just gotten out of control 30 cops like a cop got ran over by a truck and oh there's God. 30 police officers that were injured and they're boarding up downtown to and expecting another round of it tonight just like geez man like we that's not I, even I on the news out here I, we're on oh, fire yeah, again yeah. so that didn't even make the news i don't think i know and i meant to actually talk about that too is orange county like chino hills like i've got friends that live in chino hills dude like it's crazy like i mean they're sending videos it's like this is a quarter mile from my house dude like it's nuts it's yeah, absolutely I nuts to, i didn't mean to take it from you i just meant like that's why the news no the, no the, look philadelphia has not been on our news locally here right. because we're occupied with the fire yeah yeah i don't blame you um and then i mean you've got santa Ana winds now right like now those are into play is that what yeah I'm i think that's what's going i think that's where the fires i think that's why they started I mean, it's not Damn, hot, dude. luckily. Thank God, it's only seventy something degrees. Well, that's good. In most but, places, geez, but, that's um, but it's pretty but close it's for dry. Comfort. Yeah, it was a really dry weekend. Ugh. Those pressure yeah, I, changes. I, I think I mean, that's what really f's with her, and she doesn't realize it as much too. Because when we uh, climb the crest and come down afterwards, she is always wiped out. Yeah, um, that... And the same thing whenever there's like when a, there's going to be a huge heat wave and or it cools off suddenly. Um, mm -hmm. I think the barometric pressures and stuff like that must affect her and, and people as well. I think that maybe it affects sense. all of us. Maybe we all getting crazy. <laughs> I don't know, man. It just, it sucks. I, I'm just, I, I don't know if it's going to go back to normal Jay. That's the problem. Like all I don't this think stuff, so. like I just don't see it going back to normal. And uh, no matter who wins next week, I think it's going to be contested. And I think that's going to be a thing. And I don't know. It's just this, crazy ass game of chess nowadays like yeah oh yeah i have real I also, anxiety I mean, about it it's, it's supposed to be stressing you out you know what i mean they want that's the whole game is it's supposed to stress you out so don't let it stress well, that you shit's out it's working yeah don't let <laughs> it yeah it's it's man don't let it you got you got shows to watch 
I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> now you see why I was mind. so pissed when I watched Borat. Because I was like, this is... I watch TV to get away from this shit. And, and here ah. I turn this on. And it's more of this shit. That's that's my whole point. It's not... Can I tell you you, you, you... you may have not seen Mr. Robot solely because you're going to be so ready for it by the time you start watching it. Really? It's, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's about somebody who is going to take down the system because they're just tired of it. They're just tired of it. This guy's yeah, sort of I'm a vigilante do, do-gooder anyway, like he's a hacker. But like Sweet. he'll go to like some guy who's got a – I'll tell you, the opening scene from the first episode is he's sitting in a coffee shop with some guy. And it happens to be the owner of the coffee shop. And he's letting him know that like I'm hacking you right now because uh, I, I wonder wondered why you're the only coffee shop with like this crazy good internet. So it scratched a spot in the back of my brain and it made me dig a little further. And I found like he what? finds out, oh, this guy does kitty porn out of his website, out of the <gasps> back room or whatever. And oh, he's like – and the police are on their way now. And he's like – and he, he's like, what do you want? I'll give you anything. He's like money isn't important to me. And he puts his backpack on and walks out and the cops roll up that's the opening scene done that is so it's somebody who's just fucking fed up with it and yes yes it's a little bit michael douglas falling down but it's really more fight club oh dude without the Um, without the fighting (laughs) all right well i'm starting that tonight then because that's exactly what i'm after like i I genuinely think you'll like it and christian slater's great in it and rami remy remy malik is fantastic in it I know oh, he's, an he's the guy actor. that played Queen, right? Yeah, Freddie yeah. Mercury. Oh, he's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, he's, dude's good. Yeah. So who plays the hacker guy? Him. He's the main oh. guy. Oh, he's the main guy. He, yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I love him as an actor. So very cool. Yeah. See, uh, that's- we 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 are into season four, as I told you, and we watched an episode the other night that. I don't. I can't describe how good it was. How good the storytelling was. How visually really? stimulating it was. They did really? the whole thing. Yeah, I won't tell you anything about the content, but I will say they did it like a play. It's in five acts, and it's broken down what? that way, like Act One, Act Two, Act Three. But it's but it's not it's not on a stage or anything. It's in the show, and okay. it's um and it's they letterboxed it like it's already a widescreen show, but they letterboxed it wow. so it's like um compressed. You call that uh, yeah. anamorphic. Uh huh. And. I, I I don't even it's it, the, the storytelling is so good and the emotional st- st- weaving is so good I I don't know I'm I'm in fa- now I sound ridiculous <laughs> Again, no I have no, no money in I'm any intrigued. of these shows <laughs> no now now I'm intrigued because that sounds like something I'd be into because it's 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 f the system which is what I'm down for like this yeah. this ain't working <laughs> like we need to try something else that's that's what I'm down for you know yeah I'm cool with that. Yeah, and when you can't find anything else, you just burn it down. That's that's where these guys are. Sweet. Yeah, exactly. Well, Philly too. Uh, oh no, I know. I'm sorry. Um, are we good? Did we do it? I'm gonna push the, we're good, push man. the radioactive yeah. steam. I think we're good. Yeah. Turn the bubbles on. Make a day of it. <laughs> well, dude, keep me posted on what happens with uh, oh, Letterman oh, and uh, Conan. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God, yeah. you look like you're on fire. Spontaneous human combustion. Hang on. <laughs> I t- I- Smoking. I, I, I'm gonna, <laughs> give me one sec. <laughs> that was that was more than ever before. I don't want to set off the <laughs> sprinklers or anything. I just went and turned the air conditioning on. <laughs> That's awesome. That was really funny. You oh were just enveloped God. in smoke. Oh my. Oh, and Halloween. Look at that. We got the Halloween lights. Oh, good. There you go. That worked out great. Someone just tuning in would be like, what the hell? This guy's yeah. on fire. <laughs> what happened in the place that? Oh, it's Skip Plus. He goes, I like playing chess in a building on fire currently going over a waterfall. With apologies, Gary Larson. <laughs> That's a, uh, what do you call it? Far side joke. Skip Plus. That's um, awesome. All right. Let me turn the bubble all right. off. So, Are we good? Did we do it? Yeah, 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 we're good. I'm gonna watch that show. You got me, uh, you got me all jazzed about it now. Good. I'm gonna I make love some you, buddy. Dinner and and watch that. Yeah, <laughs> good too. Maybe I'll maybe I'll give Borat another go, but yeah, I don't know. The period. Well, now man, that you know what man, to expect, that, there were there were a heck of a lot of Apatow and Will Ferrell movies that I did not like the first pass, and I they became my favorites. Anchorman is one of them. Forty Year Old Virgin is another. Like, there's a lot of them. Forty Year Old Virgin is awesome. That movie is. Uh, so oh, you know funny. what? No, I'm sorry. You, you're actually right about it. It wasn't that one. It's the what's the one came uh, Knocked Up. I didn't like Knocked Up at first, and I grew to love it. Yeah, Knocked Up isn't that. That one's not that great. 
uh, you ironically, like it better now, once though? once this is forty came out and it was the this it was is sort of forty the sequel, is fantastic. Agreed, that is an amazing but, freaking movie. Agreed, but then once you've seen that, go back and watch Knocked Up. It, not only is it all the same people as the same characters in the same places, it's way better than you remember. Because it's like is it? you're more invested like in prequel. all the characters now. Yeah, gotcha, you used to only gotcha. care about uh, <laughs> and the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, I don't remember who. I don't. We, we Thursday's guest will is up in the air, but we have somebody coming Thursday. It's just one of two people we don't know. Um, I love it's you, either buddy. Dave Thank Letterman so or. <laughs> oh well, everything's up in the air. I mean, if we're not here to do a show, maybe I'll be on Conan. I mean, that wouldn't suck. <laughs> that wouldn't suck. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> hey, remember when I used to work for you? I mean, like, it, it, there is a world where he remembers, you know. Yeah, I used to yeah. have to put his mic on him a couple times and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, and you didn't Remember? steal his. Nope. But but we sh- we'll we'll, mm, we'll talk about this when the smoke clears some other times. But there is a Da-dun-dun-dun. microphone tie-in with this mic and Conan when I was a kid as well. Oh. So he he's not not part of the story. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, that's Way what's to going tease on. That one. We we love you so much at home. Um, uh, whatever it is what it is we love you so much at home tori and i <laughs> you can hear him <laughs> yeah, i'm here i'm still here um hang in there uh tori it'll be election day oh my gosh we'll be here live during the election next week oh shit we are we good are, will you be here for that <laughs> oh shit well i'm gonna have it on in the background like I that's what i mean but you're okay with that yeah why not yeah We're doing the show live? A- awesome I'm, so I'm so tune in for live election co- coverage next week, week on the show oh that doesn't get god. political. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be a shit show. I may have to drink. I may have oh, to you drink should. next week. Yeah. You should. I Maybe I'll get to, open... I'll have I'll bring the vape pen uh, out here and have a little uh, yeah. little medicine. Some of the summer beers maybe drink next week for sure. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't think about that. You're exactly right. Me that is going to be the uh, I will be back on Wednesday uh, with a guest that is, remains to be seen, TBD, and uh, and Tori and I will be back next Tuesday. We love you very much. Love one another. Hang in there until then. Have a great weekend. <laughs> is there anything going on this weekend? Uh, we don't. Well, see you on Thursday. It doesn't matter. I love you, buddy. Talk to you later. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Hang up. Sure. Bye. <laughs>